All right, I'm Joan Miners. I'm here in the exhibit hall with Dr. Robert Anderson, who's at the Cricket Science booth. All right, this seems to be a pretty popular booth with a lot of different interesting items. Can you tell us about them? Yeah, Joan, uh, I'm Robert Anderson. I'm the proprietor of uh, Cricket Science. Started about uh, a little over 20 years ago. I'm a retired university professor and a professional entomologist. And uh, at that time I had created some uh, materials that are quite popular among uh, secondary teachers having to do with uh, crickets, uh, association between crickets and temperature and um, I was selling that and I had to commercialize it so I started this company called uh, Cricket Science. It allowed me to develop a variety of other items that uh, entomologists are not particularly interested in but this is a, an item that's been uh, commonly used uh, for freshman courses around the country. Uh, the proceeds I used to um, acquire uh, old books, antiquarian books and antiquarian prints. Um, and uh, I have quite a collection of uh, antiquarian prints that are, are quite popular. And uh, the books are too heavy. I have several hundred antiquarian um, natural history and entomology books dating from about the late 1600s right up to 1900. But they're too heavy. I don't have those here. But there's a whole collection of antiquarian prints. Um, and uh, I bring some books. Um, particularly more recent books. These are some books uh, down here that are in the early 1900s, uh, mid-1900s. These are not antique books, but uh, uh, folks are interested in these because they're limited ed ed editions. Then, um, every now and then, one of my antiquarian books comes apart, and uh, I'll, I'll uh, make matted prints uh, of some of the various items. So over in this corner we have some antiquarian prints. As time went on, whenever I find items that are of interest in dealing with uh, insects, this is one that uh, is no longer available because I got the last supply that was uh, around, but it's uh, 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 two crickets that are light activated on a box. Uh, when, when the box gets exposed to light, the crickets start chirping. That's pretty uh, fun. So uh, I have a couple dozen of these that are here. Um, then somebody gave me an idea uh, several years ago. You can make your own uh, checkbook covers. So I got stamps. And now we have uh, checkbook covers of uh, all different kinds of insects. There's probably 50 different kinds of checkbook covers that are here. They're priced quite reasonably. Um, and uh, uh, refrigerator magnets, they're inexpensive. And I always bring these to the shows. Uh, uh, they're not available on the internet. I have a website and uh, other things, but most of these items are not available uh, on my website. They're, it's changing all the time. So I get one thing, I sell out of them, I can't get them anymore. Uh, but they're constantly being replaced with uh, other kinds of items. The jewelry, um, there's a whole selection of uh, jewelry, insect-related jewelry. These pieces in here are all silver, turquoise, of Native American pieces from the Southwest, primarily Navajo and Zuni um, uh, insect pieces. Um, then uh, there are some other items over here that are made of Swarovski crystals. Uh, I have uh, many pieces of amber that uh, came from Lithuania. Amber pieces, uh, all of which I've examined, and these have uh, at least one insect in them. They're small. They could be made into jewelry for those who are hobbyists. Um, reasonably priced, $10 each. Uh, quite popular. And a um, whole selection of uh, other kinds of insect-related jewelry pieces over here. Lady scarves, when I find uh, lady scarves that uh, have butterflies or insects on them, um, uh, I'll usually get those so they're available at this show. Uh, men's ties and uh, cards of all sight, uh, all sorts. So it's an eclectic connect, uh, collection of uh, insect-related items. Always changing, yeah. never the same. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fun. How long have you been doing this? Well, I've been doing... Uh, I, I, I've been a member of the society for about 45 years, 47 years, 
Uh, and I retired maybe six years ago from my university functions. But uh, cricket science has been a functioning uh, business for um, since about 1992. Great. Yeah. Cool. Well, good luck okay, with thank continuing you, it. Thanks. Thank you for the interview. Yeah. Yep. Bye. Bye-bye.